Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to make these lovely Christmas coasters that will decorate and protect your furniture uh, during um, Christmas gatherings or will become an unusual, memorable Christmas gift for someone else. The coasters are about four inches in diameter and I'm going to crochet them using this cotton thread size 10 and the hook that is almost two millimeters. We'll start with a magic ring and in that ring we are going to make 24 half double crochet stitches. To make a magic ring, uh, hold uh, the end of the thread with three fingers, wrap it around two fingers crisscross, insert the hook, pull the second thread out and make the first stitch. Now we'll start making half double crochet stitches with chain two, uh, which will count as the first half double crochet stitch. Now uh, we'll start each half double crochet as a simple double crochet, but we'll pull the hook through all the threads. Once again, thread over once and we'll pull the hook through three loops on the hook. Once again, thread over and pull the hook through. Thread over and pull the hook through all three loops. I have made five half double crochet stitches, including uh, the first one, which consisted of chain two. Um, continue making half double crochets until uh, you have 24. Now, when I have made 24 half double crochets, I'll uh, pull the, th the end of the thread to close this ring and I will make a slip stitch in the second of these uh, two chains that we made at the beginning of the round. Like this. In the next round we are going to make uh, 12 half double crochet stitches so we are going to uh, make a half double crochet in every other double crochet of the previous round and we'll also make chain two between those stitches. So we'll start with chain two as the first half double crochet and chain two that is going to separate the stitches. Thread over, we'll skip one stitch and we'll make a half double crochet, chain two, skip one stitch, half double, chain two, skip one stitch, half double crochet and continue like this until the end of the round. Now I have made 12 half double crochet stitches and the chain two and now I will make a slip stitch in this second chain. In the next round, in each half a double crochet, we are going to make three half double crochets and chain one between them. So we'll start with chain two. This is the first half double crochet and we'll make two more in the same space. One and two. Chain one. Now we are going to move to this half double crochet. And as you can see, the double crochet, the half double crochet itself is kind of between these stitches. So when you work in it, choose not this right one, but this left one. It will look better in this particular pattern. So after chain one, 
will make the first half double crochet here and uh, the second and uh, the third chain one moving on to this half double crochet and once again kind of moving a little to the left not to the right one two three chain one and the next one one two three chain one and continue this pattern at the, the end of the round chain one and the slip stitch in the second chain In the next round, instead of three half double crochet stitches, we are going to make five. We are going to make two uh, in the first one and two in the last one of the three double crochets. And still chain one between these groups. So chain two and uh, a half double crochet in the same space a half double crochet in the middle half double and the two in the last one one two chain one moving on to the next one once again kind of uh, shifting a little to the left one and two in the first half double crochet one in the middle and the two in the last one one two chain one and uh, moving on to the next group one two one in the second and the two in the last one chain one and continue working like this until the end of the round at the, at the end of the round as usual chain one and the slip stitch in the second chain Now we are going to switch from um, making half double crochet stitches to triple crochet stitches. We are going to make uh, five of those and we'll finish them together. Between these groups of five triple crochet stitches, they will be chain eight. We will start this round with chain four which will count as the first uh, triple crochet. Now, thread over twice and uh, one, two, we won't finish this stitch. We'll start the next one. We'll pull the hook one, two times, not the last one. One more time, one, two, and uh, number five, one, two, and now we have five loops on the hook. We'll pull the hook through all them together. Now the first chain should be very tight to um, pull it all together. And now seven more, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, all together. Uh, moving on to the next group and uh, once again as usual a little to the left the first unfinished triple crochet the second unfinished the third the fourth and 
with the other feet. One, two. And now we are pulling the hook through six loops. One very tight chain and seven more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one more time. Thread over twice. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. And one, two. And we have six loops on the hook, pulling the hook through all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And continue working like this uh, until the end of the round. Well, now I have almost finished this round. And uh, after chain eight, I'll make a slip stitch in the fourth chain here, which we counted as the first um, triple crochet stitch. That's it. Now we can cut off the white thread. For the edging, um, I like to use traditional Christmas colors. Uh, red and green, but uh, these coasters will also look uh, very nice and festive with golden or silver or um, any other um, color uh, used for the last round. In this last round, we are going to make seven single crochet stitches, chain three, seven single crochets and single crochet here at the top of this petal. So this is my cutoff thread and I'll start here so that I would not have two ends of the thread to work in together. Uh, so I'll use this green color. I will insert the hook here at the top of this petal and will make the first stitch. Now including this um, end of uh, uh, the thread in my work, I'll start making single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now chain three and seven more. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven. A single crochet here at the top of the petal. Don't need this green one anymore. Okay, like this. Now I will start working this end in, and once again seven single crochet stitches. Of course, the number of those stitches will depend on how thick or thin your thread is. Mine is uh, technically the same size, size 10, but it feels a little thinner. Chain three and seven more. So for me, 14, uh, single crochets in each of those arches works well. You might want to uh, do it differently. And uh, a single crochet stitch here. So continue uh, working like this until the, you reach the end of this round. At the, the end of the round, insert the hook in this first stitch that we made and uh, pull it through, uh, make a slip stitch. That's it, cut off the thread. 
now we need to uh, weave uh, this um, uh, end through um, a few stitches on the reverse side of work with a needle like this. Uh, do the same with this um, uh, end of the thread that was a part of our uh, magic ring and cut off all the ends. And uh, now the coaster is uh, ready. Uh, all we have left to do is to starch it very well, um, spread it uh, using pins and um, let it dry and iron it. This is what uh, those coasters look like when they are starched and are drying. Uh, as you can see, I'm using a blocking pattern for snowflakes, which can be found online or can be easily made. Uh, it's just a few circles divided into 12 sectors, and I use a lot of pins. This is it for today. Uh, I hope you liked the coaster that we made together and the video. Uh, if you did, uh, please uh, press the like button. And if you have not subscribed yet and want to be informed of all the new projects, uh, please do so and uh, push the bell button. Um, thank you for watching the video. See you next time. Bye-bye.